We, uh, after the shooting took place, I, I think most of you know that we identified uh, an alleged uh, accomplice of the shooter, uh, an individual who was with the shooter allegedly uh, at the time. This was a 17-year-old male. Uh, that 17-year-old male uh, was previously arrested uh, and arraigned on a number of charges. And uh, shortly thereafter, uh, we were able to identify the 17-year-old. Later on, we were able to identify uh, the shooter. We, uh, at that time, uh, tried to uh, locate the shooter to arrest him. Uh, we were not able to find him, so we subsequently just put the case in the grand jury, and uh, he was indicted by the grand jury. Once he was indicted by the grand jury, we then reported that indictment out. <clears throat> Once it gets reported out, we get an indictment warrant now, and with that indictment warrant, we have been looking for him for the past month uh, and so uh, for the past month we have been trying to find uh, there's been a warrant out uh, for the shooter we uh, we found him today uh, in South Buffalo uh, I want to thank the US Marshals and the Buffalo Police Department for their diligence in this matter they've been looking for him for the past month and uh, they were able to find him you know right in our own backyard here in South Buffalo uh, and he was uh, picked up this morning uh, brought in and he was arraigned uh, earlier this afternoon in front of Judge Case. Uh, the indictment was one count of murder in the second degree, uh, two counts of attempted murder in the second degree, and one count of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree for having uh, and using allegedly an illegal handgun at the time of the shooting. <clears throat> what we believe uh, took place on the early, in the early morning hours here at Club Marcella uh, was a fight uh, over flirting. We believe that uh, there were uh, kind of two groups of people and a uh, girl in the one group of, uh, of people was flirting with another girl in the second group of people. And the uh, shooter uh, took offense, apparently, again, allegedly, uh, to that flirting going on. Uh, <clears throat> words were exchanged at that point initially, and then a fist fight broke out initially. Uh, it was broken up pretty quickly by security in the club, and one security officer or, or, or one set of security officers was escorting the one group out and the second set of security officers was escorting the second group out, and both security teams didn't really know where, where, what the other one was doing, and they both got exited out to the same exit there. Uh, and when the shooter turned around and saw um, one of the individuals who uh, they were engaged in a beef with uh, five minutes ago, he allegedly pulled out his gun and fired uh, at uh, this individual, striking him and killing him, uh, and at the same time also shot and injured uh, another male and another female that was with the deceased. The, uh, the shooter uh, and the 17-year-old uh, who was with him uh, immediately fled from the club, uh, allegedly got in the shooter's uh, mother's car uh, and took off. Uh, and then um, obviously the investigation started from that point there. And like I said before, we were able to identify the 17 year old first. And then later on, we were able to identify uh, the 20 year old shooter here, Sharif McBroom. Uh, and uh, as I said before, that's how we were able to find them, uh, get them and arrest them, and today it culminated in finding the shooter. The shooter uh, faces a maximum of 50 years uh, in prison if convicted. He was uh, remanded today uh, by the judge. Um, the judge was just a special term judge, so there's no return date set yet because uh, a permanent judge of the case has to be assigned uh, on the case, 
and then once that assignment gets done by the court system, then we'll have a return date and we'll let you know at that time. Question, Tara. Uh, what's, your, what's your message to the owners of Club Marcella who invested millions in security that what they said before this all happened, this was supposed to be one of the most secure clubs and then we have this issue happen? Well, I'm not very impressed by their security, put it that way. Uh, the, the, the evidence that we have shows that the shooter was able to walk in the club with, with, with a weapon, potentially twice. Walk in, not through the fence. Walk in. Walk in. Yes. So I'm not, I'm not too impressed with their security methods, put it that way. I know there's some discussion in terms of the 17-year-old that had been arrested and tied yeah. with this. Of, there's discussion that maybe he was to be tried as an adult in this case. Is that still on the table, or is that... Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, in fairness to the 17 year old, though, uh, some of the initial charges that he fa uh, uh, faced are going to be reevaluated now based upon evidence that we ob obtained. Um, I, I, the, the, there is, there is, let's put it the way, there's conflicting evidence as to whether or not the 17 year old provided a gun to the shooter. Um, I, I don't. Think that that happened, quite frankly. Uh, I think the shooter, in part, in part of the Tars question, brought the gun in himself. And so, uh, with that said, I, I'm most likely going to be reevaluating the charges against a 17 year old and adjusting accordingly. But there are a number of gun charges on a 17 year old that are still applicable, and that obviously, in my opinion, um, uh, you know, warrants the seriousness of this to be, you know, in our youth part of adult court. Even again, it's oxymoron, obviously, but not not in the family court. Any deals for the 17-year-old if he testifies? Well, again, you're presuming he's going to testify, so I'm not going to confirm or deny that. Um, but um, uh, that that's to be determined. This was one of these commingling incidences um, or events that was taking place at Club Marcella that night. What, what, yeah, what was Cole Mingling? Like where they let under 21-year-olds. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Right, okay, and, right, and, right. and the Erie County Legislature yesterday passed a resolution to uh, the Buffalo County Council to deny the request for these yeah. commingling events. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of Cole Mingling either, yeah. Right. I'm not a fan of Cole Mingling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah just, no. Just what um, are your, what yeah, are your no, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, 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 I didn't know it was called Cole Mingling. Um, uh, I, I knew about the practice, though. Um, my, my daughter used to be a manager on Chippewa for for, for establishment, so I, I knew about that that practice, uh, and I think it's a bad idea. Yeah, I think that um, uh, 21 people, 21 and above, should be in bars, and if you're below 21, you shouldn't be. Now I say that with five kids, but I mean. <laughs> when, I mean, how do you walk in with a gun? I mean, when we've all we've all covered this. We've all covered the fact that they have security, they have metal detectors. How do you walk in with a gun, and why did the tune change from the, it went behind the fence and the dumpster and slid under, and uh, walk me through that. Yeah, um, you, you walk in with a gun with poor security measures. That's, the answer, that's a short answer to that question. Um, that, like I said, I'm not impressed with the security measures. Um, the, uh, the tune changed on the initial thought on how the gun involved in the shooting got in there by further investigation. So the more you peel away the onion sometimes and you investigate further, you get different scenarios and different facts emerge and different evidence emerges, um, and that's what happened here. Has there been any conversation of shutting them down? I'm not involved yeah. in that. Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not yeah, no, that's not my lane. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna get involved with that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll weigh in on the co-mingling stuff, but I'm not going to weigh. I'm not going to weigh in on whether it should be shut down or not. You know. Has your office investigated any other incidences similar to this? Maybe not in terms of a homicide, but just with other um, acts of aggression when it comes to these sort of co-mingling events in the in, in the city. If they ha in years. you know, if they have, it hasn't got to my desk yet. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it might have happened, you know, but I mean, I got, you know, thirty thousand cases a year. I, you know, I don't know about them all. I mean, so it's possible that it's happened, but it just hasn't got to me yet. The gun, the good, we, we believe that the gun was the gun used in the shooting was not the gun that was transferred over the fence. So, is there more than one one gun involved here? 
well, there's more than one gun in the there's more than one gun on the premises, but only one gun involved in the shooting. And do we know if that gun was the 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 17-year-old um, is alleged to have a gun on him in the premises, and now the 20-year-old is alleged to have a gun on him in the pre premises. So those are the two guns. And do we know? But if that but, gun but, was but, oh, oh, but but only. The gun that the 20-year-old had, that was the gun that was allegedly used. Now, do we know if that was his gun that he purchased himself, or...? Um, no, it was, it was an illegal weapon. That's, that's why he's charged with the, with, with the CPW second. Allegedly. allegedly, again, in all fairness, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Um, these are just allegations, but the allegation is that this was an illegal gun. And, and which group was the shooter in? Was he in the sh in the group that was that he, had the flirter? You know, the flirty? No, no, flirty. And sure. how do you ensure safety for people that are going out? You know, you said you have five kids. Yeah. People go out. People want to enjoy their lives. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, the, uh, establishments uh, need to ensure that their security is in fluff, and that their security is not only. Um, good in the sense of equipment, but the second key component of that is the, the manning of the security has to be people who do their job and who ensure that, that the people inside are safe. So it's, 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 a, it's a, I mean, it's my understanding Club Marcella had metal detectors there and they had security staff there, okay? It takes both. You need to have proper equipment and proper security. Now not, now, not all places, you know, need equipment, all right? You know, I mean, the, the majority of bars in this town don't have metal detectors. Um, the, you know, so it, for, for those establishments, it's the manpower or women power, the security uh, that needs to be good. Uh, for those establishments that feel the need to have metal detectors, well, then they gotta be, you know, uh, working properly. I'm not saying they weren't working here, but I'm just, you know, they gotta be working properly, but they also gotta be supplemented with proper people as well. So you believe, do you believe that these sort of events, the co-mangling stuff, I know you briefly mentioned it with, with parents of your daughter's experience, but just, the, they should just be eliminated completely? I mean, yes. uh, yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah, there, there, there's no, there, 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 there's, there's no need for 17, 18 year olds, you know, to be hanging out in bars. I mean, it's just, I mean you know, there's no, there's no need for it. I mean, you know, I mean, if you, it's there. If you want to, if you want to have, um, if, if you want to have, if you want to have dance clubs um, that you create in the city, all right, that's fine. Just have them, you know, outside of a bar where you're serving alcohol. Um, you know, just ha have a dance club. You know, I mean, you can, there's, there's other, there's other venues and other things for people are 21 to do without hanging in bars. Am I, am I, am I you know, I'm just one opinion, but. On the, on the arrest today, was there an issue with it? Where was he when he got arrested? In a home in, in, a home in uh, South Buffalo. Yeah, no arrest, it was, it was found and he, he, you know, surrounded himself, you know, he, he didn't cause a problem, any problems. <clears throat> just U.S. Marshals and Buffalo Police on that? Yep, okay. yep, all good? Okay, okay. all right. Thank you, sir.